Microvascular angina is a condition which um, affects a fairly large amount of people. Um, the, uh, this condition is based essentially on the presence of a reduction in blood flow caused by um, either a constriction of the small arteries or a lack of an ability for these arteries to dilate. And this happens in the presence of completely normal coronary arteries, which is something which has puzzled uh, physicians throughout the years. For many years, uh, the condition was not believed to be a real one and only a few aficionados would actually be keen to actually propose this diagnosis. But nowadays we have obtained a fairly, fairly good uh, deal of evidence that actually allows us to actually say categorically that microvascular dysfunction leading to microvascular angina is a condition that needs to be treated. Um, identifying the condition is number one in terms of uh, treating the patient. The second one is to see why this individual has microvascular angina. And there are many tests that we can use in clinical practice to detect that. But once we have identified that the arteries are normal, that the patient has angina and there are objective evidences for uh, the presence of myocardial ischemia, then we really need to treat these patients accordingly. Many cardiologists still dismiss the idea that the individual has chest pain due to a coronary problem, mainly because the arteries are normal. But we now know that there is specific treatment for this condition and that is basically improving the function of the arteries and preventing coronary artery spasm.